Hey everybody, Wanna Weasem here. This is an awesome day. It is Thursday, October 2nd, 2014. Uh, came in last night. I made skylanderclub.com backslash forum active, open to the public. A uh, little side project I've been working on for quite some time. I'm gonna move over a lot of content from my personal site. Uh, which will still be going, don't worry about that, but uh, it's going to be a way better way for me to manage things like keeping track of characters, character introductions, and unboxings. Speaking of which, we're going to get started here with Skylander's Trap Team for the Xbox One. Now, first question people are going to throw at me is, one of Wisdom, what have you done? It's not Nintendo. Uh, don't worry, I have an Xbox One, I've got the Wii U. There's a reason that I didn't request the Wii U starter pack. It's because I'm going to buy the Dark Edition starter pack for the Wii U on Sunday. Uh, pick up Dark Food Fight, Dark Wildfire, Dark Snapshot, and uh, plan to do a co-op playthrough on the Wii U version with my nephew. And if you think, well, what are you going to do with this one? I am going to stream the Xbox One version. Uh, if you do not follow me on Twitch, now would be the time because I'm going to stream the entire game. So uh, stay tuned for that. Of course, I'll export it over to YouTube, but uh, that way I can interact with people, you know, kind of monitor things in the chat and everything like that. So Xbox One starter pack will be streamed. The Wii U uh, is coming. It will be the Dark Edition and pick it up Sunday, and that will be a co-op playthrough with my nephew, the Walkthrough King. So if you're not subscribed to him, make sure to do that. That said, let's get down to business here. As you should know if you're here, I do things a little differently than most. I go into way more detail than most people, and it's honestly because I care. Uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to do here. The starter pack will set you back $74.99. Rumor has it Toys R Us is going to have a sweet sale. I have read, again, this isn't confirmed, but uh, or at least not something I want to put my name on, but there's a chance that they'll have a buy one, get one, like 40 to 50% on starter packs. If that's true, that is awesome, because if you're like me, uh, you would want to go in and get the dark starter pack and the regular, or maybe the dark and the 3DS. And uh, that will save you quite a bit of cash, which you can then use on characters, triple packs, the AP, legendaries, nitros, traps, whatever you may need. That said, the box is actually pretty dadgum impressive. I don't know. I think the camera actually does show it fairly well. Uh, it does not look like your typical box. Uh, the graphics, they almost have like a vibrant pop to them. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. But trust me, when you see this on the store shelves, you will know what I mean. So what is included? You get the Trap Tanium Portal. You can kind of see center stage there. You get Trap Master Snapshot. He's Water Element. He's kind of the head of the Trap Master, from what I understand. Food Fight, one of my most anticipated. I think he's going to wind up as one of my favorites overall. Uh, Life Element Newlander. Uh, coming over, instead of a third character, since this is Trap Team, you basically get two traps, which you can use to trap villains of that said element. Uh, looks like we've got the Water Tiki Trap and then the Life Hammer Trap. Apparently these get names in the game, so that's going to be really cool. Obviously, what else is included? You've got the game and the Trap Tanium Portal. Cover art features Snapshot, Chaos. Uh, it shows Snapshot on the Trap Tanium Portal, trapping Chaos with the Chaos-specific trap, as you can see there. Portal very slick, very, it's the best-looking portal we've had. It's got a built-in speaker, it's kind of got like a little, you know, trap cage on it, so it's pretty dadgum cool. Coming around, we'll do the left side first. <laughs> Basically, what is included inside? Video game, character poster, I think it has the question marks too, we'll find out. All new Trap Tanium Portal. Now, this is cool. From what I understood, the Trap Collection Tray was only available in the Tablet Starter Pack. I uh, saw a video a while back when they were pushing the Tablet one, and it said it had the Trap Tray, and I was like, man, you gotta be kidding me. I thought we were, you know, that should be like in all the consoles. Well, it is. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It'll help me stay organized here until I pick up the uh, legendary one from Toys R Us and Power A. Your two Skylanders, Food Fight, the New Lander, Snapshot, and your two traps we've covered. You get the trading cards, the old familiar sticker sheets with secret codes. I'll probably still call them web codes because old habits die hard. Again, toys to life and then kind of life to toys on this one. We'll come around to the sidebar. Uh, also available, expand your gameplay experience with Adventure Packs. They're highlighting the Nightmare Express here. Of course, it is available with Blades. You can pick it up on Sunday, $24.99. In addition to that, you can get the Legendary uh, version of Blades by way of the Legendary Adventure Pack. 
Uh, it's a lot to take in, but it's basically an adventure pack gone legendary, if you will. So be on the lookout for that at Toys R Us. And then right here, Trap Tray Included, which is cool. I cannot wait to actually see what that looks like in person. Uh, there will be another AP on the pack side. Typical stuff, uh, but this time we've updated it for Snapshot being showcased there. Coming around, we've got the Chaos Trap, and you see Chaos getting trapped and then basically playable in the game. Uh, features in all new Traptanian Portal, your Trap Masters. You've got Skylanders, each with unique abilities and powers. Spry and Tidal Wave Gilgrunt are also highlighted. Uh, defeat and capture 40 plus villains and traps. You've kind of got like the Life Scepter. I uh, can't think of what they call that one, maybe the eagle, no clue what that magic trap is. Uh, Chompy Mage is getting trapped, you can play with your friends. Build your trap team, featured characters, basically magic, water, and life. Uh, Blaster Mind, Enigma, Fizzy Frenzy, Pop Fizz, Deja Vu, Cobra Kadabra, the uh, Deja Vu, the two new landers, Mini Genie, and Spry. Water Element, Trap Master, Snapshot, and Lobstar, uh, returning character series for Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. Then we've got new landers, Echo and Flipwreck, uh, Minis, Thumpling, and Gilgrunts. In the life element, tough luck and bushwhack. There will be a legendary bushwhack. Sure shot, shroom boom, food fight, and high five are our two new landers. Then we've got whisper elf and Barkley on the mini side. Coming in, you can explore a mystical new world, embark on an epic new adventure. I cannot wait to do whether that's a tertiary or soul gym with food fight. Uh, that's one of the things I have been the most excited about, and I don't care how lame you think that sounds. I've seen that screenshot since I think E3, and uh, that is actually one of the things I am looking the most forward to. Uh, after that, trap and play as a villain. Uh, play with friends, and of course, challenge yourselves with fun mini games. There is a kind of an overarching look at the uh, back of the box. Again, it has really vibrant uh, printing on it. I need to get a new light bulb in here. Uh, it's kind of making a funky shadow. My apologies on that. But uh, let's see what we got here. So that's how it opens. The tabs just pop out. Uh, we will slide it, I guess, straight out. I didn't figure the characters would fall out. So we will gently throw that aside. Uh, oh yeah, that looks really good. When I saw the portal, it was like an E3 and a little like... They're cool huts because, you know, it lets you see the game without glare. But it's also really dark. I was having, like, film with my cell phone, you know, kind of like holding it over everything. Uh, this looks freaking awesome with the light shining down on the white plastic. So, let's get started uh, with my most... Uh, I, I honestly think there's a good chance Food Fight could be my favorite character. Uh, out of the entire game, uh, which I feel kind of lame saying that about a launch character, but uh, I just something about him. He's an artichoke that shoots tomatoes, and I can't wait to try out that tertiary or soul gym with him. Uh, very nice. He's got some heft to him. He wants to lean that way, kind of like the old slam bam syndrome. Very one sided heavy figure. The detail on him is awesome. Uh, you can see the tomato in line. He kind of reminds me of like a camo crossed with a zook. Uh, that's kind of how I'm hoping he plays too. Got one in his hand. The eyes are looking up at the gun. Uh, two sharp little teeth down there. Again, kind of reminds me. Super nice detail there on that uh, tomato. Reminds me of uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. It was a cartoon uh, that would come on sometimes when I was probably like seven or eight. Uh, backside, not a lot to see, but it's very well detailed. Again, check out the little spots there. The base is red. Um, I've got Firebone Hot Dog here. Not Firebone, Hot Dog, the original orange base. You can kind of see the contrast in the base right there. Uh, let me, here's Pop Fizz, the original. Uh, the original Pop Fizz. That shows you, I mean, that's the orange versus the red on the base. So, uh, again, those are the details other people don't bother to show you. Gun is incredible. Uh, I am going to absolutely love that guy. That's why I'm stoked he's in the Dark Edition. Uh, both upgrade paths. I can tell you right now, uh, just like I always said with the Light Cores and the Giants or anyone with accessories, don't grab him by the you know sword or the bow. Always work by the base or the head uh, if that's an open area. This is, of course, Water Element Trap Master Snapshot. He is very very visually impressive and again this is another starter pack character i think i'm really going to be a big fan of uh spinning him around intricate detail there uh you can i mean you can feel you know the roughness it's almost like the real deal uh what is that there on his back i think that may be something related to the trap team 
the packaging on their single packs is amazing and I believe uh, when I showed my nephew these I saw that same little icon on the back of Jawbreaker so uh, rough texture there you kind of see the colorations he's someone that to me is perfect again I'm not a huge fan of gold but it works well there I think silver would look off um, the Traptanium weapons uh, that is just wicked cool I think I'm gonna like the blue ones the best Gusto's boomerang looks amazing they are translucent you can see my finger through there um, just really really nice figures this time around uh, we'll come in now let's try to get these traps out I'll go ahead and pop both of them out and this is uh getting hold them in hand this life hammer has got some heft to it uh, this is the water tiki of course I believe that's what it's called I think I have real name somewhere. This is really cool. Uh, you can make out the face there. You've got the water element logo. Of course, this fits into that slot right there. Uh, so you can orient it, I assume, whichever direction. I'll test that out because I'm interested. Uh, I believe the chip is right there. I was hoping I could hold Riot Shield Shredder from the Life Trap over the portal without opening it. But uh, I spoke with uh, Daphne. She so can find her on the Skylander Club forums. And she told me that uh, the chip was actually at the top of the trap. That does look to be the case. Don't know that I can get Riot Shield in the game like I had planned to anyway. So one side, of course, has the Water Element logo. The other one is blank. I'll keep these on hand to showcase with the others. But look at that. You can see the Water Tiki through the green translucent trap. So very cool. These are super nice. The packaging on the single pack traps is cool. But just the fact that they're translucent... Uh, they've got a lot more heft to them than I thought they would have. Um, very, very impressive, actually. So uh, what we have lacking, or left, is going to be the portal. If you can't tell, it is wired. Uh, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. I still sometimes use the wireless one, but it's mainly like for light core showcases. Um, I can tell you right now, the power supply cord weighs more than the portal. Um, the portal is extremely lightweight. Uh, that's something else, the portals, you know, at E3 are kind of like fastened to the table type situation, so I can't like pick it up and explore it too much, but that is designed to look like Shattered Traptanium. Again, you can see Ghost Roaster, Voodoo, and Boomer in the background on the pool table there. It is visually stunning. Uh, it's, it's really cool to see this thing in person under my somewhat decent lights. Props to whoever did this. Uh, I have mine on carpet, you know, on the floor, but I know a lot of people have like little coffee tables that have become dedicated Skylands furniture. And uh, what they have here is actually pads. That's going to keep you from scuffing your finish. It will also say you have cats or dogs or kids. Uh, they're all roughly the same, I guess. Uh, it should. It feels like it's going to be like anti-skid. I'm sure you can push it across, but it's going to keep it from just, you know, sliding. It should kind of cushion, protect your furniture, and keep the portal safe. So details there kind of match what we've seen on the previous portals uh this is going to look pretty dadgum cool lit up i think uh they're probably sending subliminal messages through the hieroglyphs that i want to wear of now right here the portal itself it is designed to look like a villain vault uh, you can actually see if you do anything with audio you know that's a speaker in the background uh, it's designed to look like a key this is of course your trap slot your wired end oh man i'd say that's probably at least six feet um that's one of the details. I know I mention it, but I don't really care. It is a gray cord, which is interesting. It's usually a default black. It actually matches better. Uh, not that anyone really cares aside from me, uh, maybe a couple other people, but I thought that was a nice touch. If I spend a lot of time engineering and developing something, why not make the cord match? You know, it's kind of the smart thing to do, I think. Now, uh, coming around, let's see here. Da -da -da, Traptanium Portal, Xbox One, Activision... Got all your serial numbers, things of that nature. I think it seems like I was told the volume control was on the portal. I think it may actually be built into the game. I'm going to spend probably more time in the options menu. I don't even know if some people uh, bother to look there. But unless it's uh, just really well hidden, I'm thinking that may be the case. Now, last thing we need to do, I guess not the last thing, but uh, right here is actually see what the traps look like. It's a loose fit, obviously, being a hex shape, you know, six sides, you can't, like, turn it. I guess you could, but you'd screw something off. Uh, not advisable, but uh, 
Looks like you can position it however you want, of course, the intention is that you'd have, I guess, the Water Element logo facing you, the player, and the speaker. Uh, but it should work any direction, I'll test that out. Again, not that many people care, but some of us do, so... Uh, very, very impressive. I've actually got it over the corner pocket of the pool table, and I can see in the corner pocket. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, you haven't shown us the game. <laughs> that would be 100% correct. Uh, this worked out beautifully. Uh, lifted that up. Here's some money stuff right here. We got the instructions, the cards, the sticker sheets. I'll set that down on a Nintendo poster. Game was loose. That is awesome. So this is the case for the Xbox One. Uh, you got Mini Genie, Food Fight, Wallop, Snapshot, Sure Shot, Shroom Boom. Down on the bottom end, this is where things get awesome. Wolfgang and Chaos. Uh, that is like my villain dream team right there. Then of course you got the Chompy Mage with his puppet. And um, sealed. I, you know, prior to having the Xbox One, I had never really uh, seen a game on like the left hand side it still kind of bothers me uh, i don't know why i guess it's like my allegiance to nintendo or something but uh sega playstation everything i've ever had the game has always like been orchestrated differently so da -da -da -da. i'm gonna show you the blank side there's nothing there uh disc itself snapshot and chaos very cool of course the xbox one version gonna have green I think the Wii U version will look cool because it's kind of a sweet blue that ties in better with Snapshot. But uh, that is that. That is the case. Again, no instruction manuals. That's kind of sad. Uh, two ways to play. This is basically everything on the back of the box. Uh, we'll go ahead and cover this though. Chaos has blown up the walls of the feared Cloudcracker prison, freeing the most notorious villains in Skylands. It's up to you and the Skylanders to find and capture them using Traptanium, a magic material that can harness the power of the elements. Uh, let's see here. You have an amazing ability to trap the villains and return them to Skylands to fight for you. Begin the ultimate adventure as you explore Skylands in search of escaped villains. Featured characters there, you've got the water element. And again, my lighting is horrible. <laughs> I apologize about that. Uh, single player, two player co op. Uh, Lobstar, Echo, TWGG, and Thumpling featured there. Tough Luck, Life Element, Trapstress. Uh, high Five, the New Lander, Sure Shot, Shroom Broom, and Whisper Elf. Chaos Trap, we've got the Magic Hammer, the Fire Scepter, the Undead Skull, and the Air Jughead. Uh, of course, uh, Beanox, Vicarious Visions, Toys for Bob. Uh, Toys for Bob, basically, if I remember correctly, developed this game from scratch for the Wii. Beanox handled the ports to all your you know, high-def consoles. And then, of course, Next Gen, which I consider Wii U Next Gen. I don't care what people say, but Xbox One, PS4 in this case. And then, of course, Vicarious Visions jumped in at the last possible minute with the brain teaser that was the tablet starter pack. So that's what they worked on. Uh, we'll set that aside, and we have one more thing. And I am stoked that this is included. I honestly thought that this was just like relocated uh to the um tablet starter pack and i was bummed out there's the side of it and i'm actually going to make you wait <laughs> we're gonna just set that there you can have a really cool backdrop because i need to get these stat cards out of here so. uh, this is the same setup as previous games where it's just kind of like stuck to the back but uh, that's what i just freed if anyone cares we will open this up. We got to check out the poster. We got to see the stat card. So, uh, if I could actually see in my own room, uh, we would be doing fantastic. There we go. I don't highlight my struggles on camera, so I seem that much more impressive in person. But so uh, we'll set the plastic down. Uh, let's get started here. There's our sticker sheets, our web code, and posters folded. This may be bigger than that Toys R Us one. Uh, I will get you the dimensions, uh, take the link at the top of the video description box and I'll have them because this is, if it's not bigger it looks to be, uh, it is very well creased, very well folded, yeah this is definitely bigger, the same thing roughly but slightly bigger, so, um, I have actually covered this and it would be really hard for me to do that here, so I think what I will do for you is just direct you to watch when I did the poster analysis. And uh, we'll save some time here, but I know your big questions are the question marks there. They are the top that speculated to be the new elements questions. Uh, don't worry, the Doom Raiders questions, and then the extra villains questions. But uh, I'll get dimensions for you on that. It's really cool. It is one-sided, and the dark one's going to be even cooler than that. 
Uh, here are directions. We live dangerously. Well, as evidenced by that, so I'll just toss that aside. And... There we go. Alright. Had to figure out what I dropped and what I didn't drop. Food Fight. Let's start with a sticker sheet. There's his sticker artwork, if you will. There's his name below that QR code and web code. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's just get him out of the way. Food Fight. Power or strength is going to be 60 of what? Of 250. 25 level cap there. Uh, defense or armor, 60 of 250. Agility or speed, 80 of 250. And luck, 140 of 250. What does that add up to? Uh, we've got 140, 220, 120. I think 340 out of a possible 1,000. So... Uh, pretty solid numbers for a core character. Again, if you care about this type of stuff, I've got the entire roster for Trap Team up on Skylander Club forum, so check that out. I'll have a link for that in the description for you. We will set him down. Snapshots. We'll take a look at his sticker sheet. There it is below that. You've got his name. You can put it on your poster, uh, which that's kind of what they intend for you to do. You can put it on a storage case. You can put it on a bulletin board or wall. Uh, notebook, wherever you document stuff, it doesn't really matter. Uh, stats on Mr. Snapshot. Let's get him back up here because he's cool to look at. We'll slide that in place and be all thrifty and use it as a pointer. Uh, snapshot, very nice artwork there. Power, 100 of 250. Defense, 100 of 250. Agility, 180 of 250. And luck, 120 of 250. Obviously, Trap Master is going to have higher stats. Uh, combine 180 and 120, you get 300, 400, 500. That was super easy math. So 500 out of 1,000. Very nice. And thank you to Snapshot for pointing that as we discussed it. So set that down. Last thing we need to do is take a look at the trap. This is really cool. It's something they didn't have to do, but they did. It will allow us to come in here and take our traps and put them in place. And then when you want to come in and pick a certain villain, You'll know what it is. Now, I will probably have some favorite villains like Wolfgang, Mad Lobs, uh, maybe Chill Bill. It just depends who we, you know, all wind up liking. And you'll probably pick like, ooh, Wolfgang's got to have the Undead Skull. And I want Crossgrow to have the Water Tiki. So you can do it that way if uh, you've got like a shared household or something like that. This will be a saving grace. You won't have to go through every single one of your traps. They are all archived for you. Front and center, who else would it be but Chaos? Uh, check it out, it looks like the Doom Raiders are straight down the middle. Maybe? No, I spoke too soon. Well, Wolfgang and the Doom uh, Golden Queen are. She kind of heads up the Doom Raiders. Uh, over here we've got Tech, Dr. Crankcase, Bruiser Cruiser, Shrednots, uh, Brawlrus, Trolling Thunder. I'm excited to hear the theme on that one. And then Mad Lobs in the Water Element, which is coming right up. Gulper. Slobber Trap, Chill Bill, Brawl and Chain, if you get Outlaw Brawl and Chain, um, maybe that's one of the questions, I don't know, uh, Cross Crow, I think he's going to be cool, and then of course Threat Pack, Life Element Villains, we have Chompy Mage, the Doom Raider, Sheep Creep, I think he's in level 1, uh, Broccoli Guys up next, Cuckoo Clocker, Shield Shredder, and then again Riot Shield Shredder, I don't know, and then we have got the Chompy. Coming in on this side again, Chaos, Wolfgang, and the Doom Raider. That seems to be what they did, is put the Doom Raiders at the top of each element, so... <laughs> or something similar to that. Um, Maskermind should be very fun. Undead, Hoodsickle. I think he's going to be super cool. I want to catch him using Crypt King, because they look somewhat similar to me. Uh, next up is Bone Chompy, and then we've got... I don't know. Uh, Earth Element, the Golden Queen, head of the Doom Raiders. Then you've got Tussle Sprout. Uh, Chomp Chest, Grave Clobber, he's another one like Hood Sickle, I think is going to be super cool and a question mark. Uh, up this way we've got Dreamcatcher the Air, uh, Doom Raider super villain if you will. Buzzer Beak, looks an awful lot like uh, some th things we've seen before. Krankenstein should be a fun villain. Uh, Bad Juju, and then a question mark, actually two question marks in the air. Uh, coming up this way, Chef Pepperjack. He is, of course, the fire element supervillain or doom raider. You've got Scrap Shooter. You've got Grenade. I think that's really clever. Uh, reminds me of a Bob Omb. Uh, you got Smoke Scream. And then two questions. On this side, the magic element. You got Bombshell. You could say that turtle's a bomb. Pinata. 
Uh, everyone at E3 was pushing him, seems to be very popular amongst folks. Uh, the Rage Mage, and then two question marks, and the Trap Team logo. Again, that side has the... Oh, this is cool. I did not know this. There's a look at some of the traps. Uh, kind of gives you an idea of what to expect. Tech, life, uh, fire, water, magic. The little cobra is really cool. That undead hand, also awesome. Uh, the orb. I'll try to get these names out to you. I guess this is like so you can hold it. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it was packaging for the game. And here's more traps that are different. I'm glad they didn't like replicate it. Uh, fire scepter, water, something. Uh, torch scepter, I think, I believe. Uh, magic hammer, something like that. Chaos, that's the one everyone's most interested in. Uh, you've got the earth hammer. Or that might be called something different. Uh, Air Jughead and then the Undead Skull. So very cool that they did that. And like I said, now as you go and trap the villains, you can archive them instantly. Uh, if you don't like this, you can do something else. But in all honesty, this will work great. Uh, if you're not interested in using this, uh, my advice would be to look at Toys R Us this Sunday. Uh, you can actually already order them online. Uh, many people have them as that legendary trap team case from Power A I showcased to you. So lots of options. The main thing, if you go all out and you don't just do one trap per element, uh, you can tailor the villains to the traps, meaning like I could give Wolfgang the coolest undead one I could find, and then if I turn out to really like Hoodsickle as well, he could be the Hand of Fate, uh, however you want to do it. And if you just don't care, you'll grab whatever trap is available. You can just use something like this to index your collection. So, very, very neat that this came. I truly thought this was only with the tablet starter pack, so I'm pretty stoked to see that we got that. But, that is it. That is the Xbox One console starter pack. $74.99 retail. It is available everywhere on Sunday the 5th here in the U.S. My Australia and New Zealand friends have been playing this, so they kind of got to jump on the gun there. Uh, what we have, though, just to recap, we've got the trap tray, which is a bonus for me. We've got the collector cards and sticker sheets. I'm throwing into the frame here. You get starter pack character, food fight, life element, new lander. You get snapshot, water element, trap master, looks insanely good in hand. You get the life hammer, which is incredibly heavy. <laughs> and then you get... The water tiki trap. Well, uh, that one's actually pretty lightweight, particularly compared to that bad boy. Uh, we'll throw this little glue trap down there. You get the game, obviously, that's kind of important. Your <laughs> console starter pack and the stunningly, smashingly gorgeous Traptanium portal. Uh, I'll make, I guess, a standalone video when I wire this thing in and kind of see what it looks like. So I'm gonna actually go the Xbox One does some crazy stuff. I think this should fire right up. If not, and it has to install it. I want to get it going so I can play and start streaming. And uh, while that happens, I'll get this video editing. And we are going to tear into the 3DS starter pack. Uh, and that's going to be super cool. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully this helps you out. Kind of showcases to you what is inside the starter pack. Uh, questions or comments, feel free to ask here. You can hit me up on Twitter, at one of wisdom. And of course, as of last night, you can now find me on the Skylander Club forum. Uh, it's a fan site. I'm hoping it stays kind of more to the hardcore player slash collector. And uh, we'll just set things up that way. I think it's going to come in handy for everybody. So check that out if you have not. If you have not subscribed, make sure to do that. Tons of Trap Team content coming your way. Uh, I'm going to go get all this underway, get the game loading up on the X-Bone, get the video editing so it can upload, and uh, clear some space on the pool table for the next unboxing. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we will catch you back here for more Skylanders Trap Team.